Okay, so can you see my cursor? Yes, you can. In the bottom left, that's where air enters the system. Below this glass layer, there is a wooden layer that is painted black with charcoal paint. And uh, so it gets heated. And so the air rises to this area here at the top of what I call this cabinet. So I say that, that this area here where you dry your food and you have trays and everything, I call that a cabinet. And it's got a door to the outside. And then the area over here that collects the solar rays, I call that the solar collector. So we've got part one, solar collector, part two, cabinet. And there's only, that's all there is, is two pieces to this, um, in this technology. So that newly created warm air reaches this place and it can't go any higher. So it starts flooding into the top of the cabinet. And then more air follows it in and it gets heated as well and gets pushed to the top of the cabinet. And then so eventually semi warm air is pushed down through all the tray layers that have like netting, right? Food grade netting, all the tray layers. And then they reach this bottom lip of the back wall. And this, this whole place is uh, in the dark. So it's not being heated up anymore, except for this new air uh, that rises in from the beginning. And so right when it catches this lip down at the bottom of the back wall, then it's released, you know, and this is warmer air than the average air outside. So this just rises up through the system and then leaves. In, in this system, the entire roof of this is the glass. But in the Missoula One model, um, there's a roof, a tin roof up here over the top of the cabinet. So this is um, this model created by the ATC class was thought to be um, an easier model to create. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure out how am I going to make my arguments to tell you about things. All right. So whenever it is that um, I get questions about airflow, I send people this video.